Hey everyone, I wasn't planning on making a video today, but I had a comment about can we make capacitors using erasers um, when they saw that I was making resistors using pencil. So I think that's a great question. And um, so we'll go ahead and make a capacitor and we'll use that eraser, I guess. But um, before I do, I guess just to briefly touch on it, capacitors, they store electric energy and then they're able to discharge it really quickly. We'll talk more about capacitors in some other video. Um, this one, we just want to try to make a capacitor. So we want to try to make a 10 nanofarad capacitor. And so let's look at an existing capacitor. Okay, so this is supposedly a 10 nanofarad capacitor. And when we hook it up to our probe, we see that we're not quite at 10, we're at 9.1. So let's see what we can do to make our own capacitor. Um, so as we're building this capacitor, we're gonna use this eraser and erase the 10 nanofarads because it's gonna, we'll work up to 10, but I wanna erase that really well. Um, we'll start at different values here. So what we're gonna do is take off our probes we're going to put down a sheet of paper, put, put down a nice aluminum foil, and we'll clip our negative clip to our aluminum foil. And then we'll put down another sheet of paper. This is going to act as our dielectric. Okay, and then we've got a second sheet of aluminum there. Okay, and then we'll hook up our second probe. Over on this side. So we can see that right now we've got basically metal sheet and then a, a paper dielectric and then another metal sheet. And make sure that our probe is our lines are correct here. So now we're gonna go ahead and set on volume one of, of the computer programming book. Make sure our connectors are, are all our probes are good. Volume two, okay. Volume three. And now what we're gonna do is switch to um, a cooking book. So this is modernist cuisine cooking. Um, and it's got the history and fundamentals. And then this book has the techniques and equipment. And then finally, this book talks about animals and plants. All right. So at this point, we are really close um, to our 10 nanofarad capacitor. Um, so basically what we have is we have a sheet of metal and then we have that piece of paper that we use the eraser on to erase out the 10 nanofarads. Um, and then we put another sheet of metal and then we're using these different books to kind of push those two metal plates closer and closer together until we get to that 10 nanofarad value we needed. Um, hopefully this makes sense. And um, again, in a future video, we can talk about capacitors. Um, I'm really wanting to focus on GPIO right now, but um, we could talk about maybe how we use capacitors um, for our power lines and things like that. So anyway, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.